What's up people, my name's Sean Reynolds. Welcome back to the Ditto Music channel. Today I'm gonna to be helping you get your music in front of more people's faces using Facebook and Instagram ads. So if you're looking to take your music to the next level and get it in front of a much wider audience, then this video's for you. Roll the titles. Before we dive in, let me remind you that if you're passionate about making music, then you want it to be heard everywhere. From Spotify to Apple Music, TikTok to Instagram, with Ditto Music, you can do exactly that. With Ditto, you have the power to release your tracks on every single global platform and keep 100% of the royalties you make. What's more is there's a 30-day free trial to try it all out firsthand, so make sure you check out the link in the description to find out more. Anyway. On with the video. So there is one thing you need to do first before you can even get started with Facebook and Instagram ads and that is to turn your personal profiles on Instagram and Facebook into either business or creator accounts depending on your needs. Otherwise you won't get very far down this road. Also this might speak for itself but make sure your artist Facebook page is linked directly to your Instagram account. And then once you've completed that first step you'll have the ability to promote your posts and stories directly from the Instagram app as well as creating more long-term campaigns from Facebook Ads Manager. All right now let's talk about the ad itself. Although this isn't a graphic design video or an editing video, there's a few things to bear in mind when creating your advert. To put it simply, make sure your ad is as eye-catching as possible, but ensure that it's authentic to your brand. Ironically, the more it looks like an ad, the higher the chance that people will just scroll past because it doesn't engage them. So be creative, use your personality to make it stand out but not sound desperate that you want those click-throughs. For example, use some bold striking text to display any visual information that you need to get across. Use some exciting colorful shots of you performing live or your music videos. And if you can, try to avoid using in stock footage and imagery. Real people engage with real people. The same can be said about your captions and your hashtags. Make sure your call to action is front and center. What do you actually want people to do when they see this ad? Stream my single, buy my album, get tickets to my show. After you've got your call to action in there, you can be as authentic as possible. If your brand is to write long heartfelt messages to your followers, go ahead and do that. If your brand is to be short and snappy and rude, do that as well. Now, before you go diving in and start paying all this money to promote your music without really knowing what you're doing, you need to kind of focus on what you want to achieve. For example, you could be just looking to increase your follower count, you could be looking to drive people to a specific link or your website, or you could be looking to promote a specific single or album. And in the same vein, you need to think about who you're trying to reach. Who is your target audience? If you've been using Facebook and Instagram for a while, then you may have the ability to check your analytics. This will give you a much clearer understanding of who engages with your content most. And then with that information, if you're happy with the demographic, you can then tailor your ads to be directed towards that exact audience to increase your chances of success. Once you know exactly what you're trying to achieve, it's going to make it much easier for you to tailor your ads and make sure they reach the right people. And one last thing I promise before we get into setting up these ad campaigns is making sure that you're familiar with the Facebook advertising policies. You'll need to make sure that your ad complies with these guidelines in order for it to get approved. So I'll leave a link to that in the description box below. Make sure you give it a read and you'll be good to go. All right, so here we are in Facebook Ads Manager and all I've done is hit the green create button in the top left corner. Now, out of the options it gives you, I would probably only go for three of them. The first one is traffic, which sends people to a specific link. This would be great for doing pre-save campaigns for new singles or new albums that are coming out. The next one is engagement, which can draw new people to your page and your content to increase comments, likes, basically all your social interactions. And the third is sales, which can be used to advertise tickets to shows and merchandise. But today, we're going to go with traffic to promote a pre-save link to a new single. Okay, so let's name our campaign. Let's call it song name pre-save. And then let's copy that into the ad set and the ad. Now we can edit our ad set. So if we look at conversion, we can choose where we want to drive our traffic. And in this instance, we want to drive them to a specific link where they can pre-save your new single. So we'll leave that set to website and you'll see here, you'll enter more details about the destination later. Next is your performance goal, which we'll leave set to maximize number of link clicks. Next is cost per result goal. Now, one thing you should know about Meta is they run these ads on an auction based system. So the results are based on how much you're willing to bid for the demographic that you're trying to reach and then the competition for that demographic. The good news is the more relevant your ad is to the target audience, the better it will perform and the cheaper it will be. I would rather get the most bang for my buck on each link click, so I'm going to leave that blank. Dynamic Creative is something that you might be interested in. It's where Meta can take individual files and recreate different ad experiences for individual people. But for ease, we're going to leave that off for now. So now we can start messing with the budget and the schedule. If you change your daily budget amount to say, 200 pounds, 
you'll see how your estimated daily results change. Now, unfortunately, I'm not looking to spend 200 pounds a day, so let's set that back. And you can see here, we're estimated to reach between 560 and 1600 people every day. Next, we need to set our schedule. Now, this is when you want your ad to start and when you want your ad to finish. If you're doing a pre-save campaign, then this will be the date that you've set with your distributor up until the single comes out. So let's set it for next Friday for two weeks. Next is audience, which is probably the most important part of setting up your ad campaign. Now, we've already done some of the legwork earlier on by checking our analytics and seeing who already engages with our content. However, Meta have a very cool feature where you can create a lookalike audience based on the people that already enjoy your content. But once again, for ease of demonstration, I'm gonna go ahead and create a new audience based on an imaginary demographic. So let's say my demographic are between 55 and 65 plus. We're gonna go with just men, interests and behaviors, we'll go with DIY and baking. We're now gonna be hitting between just under 700 people and just under 2000 people per day. So you can already see that the more you fine tune your audience, the better your results can be. So take your time with this section and tweak everything until you get the estimated results that you're after. And lastly on this page, we have placements and it says you use Advantage Plus placements to maximize your budget and help show your ads to more people, which sounds pretty good to me. But if for example, you wanted to share this ad on just Instagram or just Facebook, then you would click manual placements so that you can decide on those individually. Next, you can decide which Facebook page and which Instagram account you're gonna be sharing this ad on. And then you can tell Ads Manager what is the content that you want it to display? What is your advert actually going to be? So firstly, we're gonna leave this as manual upload. You're gonna choose what the advert content is gonna be. Then scrolling down, you have format, which can either be a single image or video, which is what we're gonna be doing today. You can have carousel, which is two or more scrollable images, just like you see on Instagram, or a collection, which is apparently a full screen mobile experience. But I can imagine most of you will be selecting single image or video so that you can promote one particular piece of content. So now we can add our media. Now if we go to add media, add video, I'm gonna be choosing one of my recent Instagram videos. So we highlight the video, click next. Right, we'll trim that down so it's less than 15 seconds, hit next. And then you can adjust the crop so that everything fits into the right advertising space. And then once you're happy with the crops, you click next and you can see here, all of the previews of your ad. So if you see any of these exclamation points in your previews, just hit that preview and it'll tell you exactly what needs to be done so that that placement works. And now we can dive into our text. So for our headline, we're gonna put, you've never heard anything like this. And then our description, pre-save the new crazy cool single. <laughs> before the world ends. Now I'm doing this very quickly, obviously, but make sure you put some time into this text because this could be the difference between someone scrolling past or clicking on this advert and then making the sale. And now you can select your call to action. So for the pre-save, we're gonna go with listen now. So destination, this is gonna be the link that people are sent to when they click on the ad. So this will need to be your pre-save link. Another cool feature about Ditto is you get a smart link with every release, which keeps everything neat and tidy in one convenient place, meaning that all your pre-save links are easily accessed on the same page. So after you've pasted in your smart link you can then publish the ad and you can send it off into the world to bring you new fans but don't get complacent remember you're spending money every single day to keep this ad in circulation so if it's not performing to its fullest potential you may need to dive back in and make some adjustments to keep an eye on the progress of your ads all you need to do is hit view charts on the ad that you want to monitor and you'll be able to see how it's performing with each demographic so that you can make the necessary changes obviously organic growth feels great and is great but using these ads can be such a great tool to take your music to the next level so I hope this video has been helpful and you can now all go out there and start blasting your ads all over the internet. Anyway, my name's Sean Reynolds. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to the Ditto Music channel. I'll see you again soon for another video. Peace.